Welcome dreamers, we're wishing you another very happy Wednesday. Today, we have another build video coming at you. Today we're gonna be talking about how you can macro build instead of micro build. How you can, you know, make bigger build using the uh, building system. Before we talk about what we're gonna be building though, we have a couple quick reminders. First of all, reminder that Dreamworld is available in early access. Head down to the description, you'll find a link to Dreamworld's website where you can go to get the free trial for Dreamworld. The free trial will allow you to play before you pay, and then if you like what you play in the trial, feel free to buy the game at the website. And for those that do get the free trial, all players that play through Dreamworld's free trial will be eligible to enter the Dreamworld Halloween raffle currently going on. We'll be giving away prizes from the 24th of October to the 29th, and along with the raffle, we'll also be having a Halloween building competition. So go get the free trial for a chance to win. But now, let's go over what we're gonna build today. So today, we will be building a Roman kind of monolith ruin slash temple build. I have a good amount of kind of Roman architect pieces and I want to showcase these today. The larger building scales are gonna let the pillars really shine here. So let's get into building our Roman temple in Dreamworld. Before we start building here though, there's a lot of farming we need to get done, you know. With macro building, or building with bigger build pieces, you're gonna need more resources. So there's a couple resources I wanna get. I wanna get lots of animal and dried bones, lots and lots of birch wood, and lots and lots of mountain stone for the Roman pillars. As we farm the resources right now, let's talk about how, you know, farming lots of resources, and even utilizing these bigger build pieces, can be advantage to you in building. So while it is true that building with bigger building pieces is gonna, you know, net you a lot more used materials, you're gonna have to farm, you know, so much more. If you are planning on doing a bigger build, you will need to use less build pieces to do so. So, you might use a little bit more material to build this way, however, you're gonna have to build significantly less foundation pieces if you use bigger foundation pieces, or significantly less walls if you if you use bigger walls. And the only real downside is that you have to spend more time farming, which if you like farming, isn't really a downside. We're gonna farm birch wood because that's kind of a good default wood to use for my default pieces. It's the most easy tree to find and the most plentiful tree to find, so we're gonna use birch wood for any default building pieces we will use. I'm gonna farm lots of mountain stone to use for the pillars. We're gonna use bigger and larger pillars today so that's gonna require a lot of stone and I am fresh out of mountain stone and we're also gonna farm animal bones because the color and texture of animal bones are you know white and kind of marbly that actually look like Roman pillars and if I use that texture I can you know use the bones as a resource to build pillars with all right so we have all our resources let's get to building I was gonna use the bones for the foundational pieces but then I quickly realized I didn't have nearly enough to do so so we're just gonna use default build pieces for the foundations of the temple it looks you know white and marbly so I feel like that fits pretty well with the building assets we're gonna be using the Roman ones today Since I've enlarged the build pieces, I've now ran out of room quicker than I thought I would, so I'm gonna have to actually farm out some of this, you know, plateau out here, get some of this desert sand out of the way. This will give me more room to construct the foundations. I want to have a bigger foundation to have more room to build on the interior. Okay, now that that's all done, let's go and finish the foundations. We want to get these completely finished before we keep going.
Okay, with the foundations done, I now want to build walls going down from the foundations. I don't want any empty space, you know, where people can go under my build. I want it to feel like it's, you know, connected to the ground and not just floating above it. So we're gonna build walls going down and that's gonna fill up the space, you know, under the foundations. Next, let's just start putting the pillars on. We're gonna use Roman red pillars around the outsides of the build. These are thicker and also a little bigger than the thinner ones that I have. And when I enlarge them, they're gonna be like towering in the air, or at least a little bit. I'm not gonna use too many pillars because I don't have that much mountain stone. All right, just like that, we have the outer pillars done. I want these to look incomplete and broken to give the you know impression of like a Roman ruin, but the interior of the build is gonna be more complete. We're gonna use more pillars on the interior of the build. However, this time we're gonna use the, you know, thin Roman pillars. I'm gonna use the dried and animal bone textures interchangeably for these pillars because they're kind of the most bountiful resource that I have that most resemble the default look of these thin pillars. And these two resources are very similar, so you're not gonna really be awkwardly looking at them like, huh, why is the color of these pillars so different? But let's go ahead and align the, you know, next layer of the interior of this, you know, temple with these short Roman pillars. They're gonna be the support for, you know, the roof that I'm gonna eventually build.
Now to build the roof above these pillars, we have to actually give myself a piece to build off of. So we're gonna use fencing at the top of these pillars. It's gonna act as kind of the bridge from the pillars to the roof. And there you go, you have a nice fencing that connects all the pillars together and also is gonna allow me to build a roof on top of them. We're gonna leave the roof a little bit open. I'm not gonna completely enclose it because we're gonna have another enclosed space, you know, later on in the build. But for the most part, I'm gonna seal off the top of the temple. Now that the roofing and ceilings are put in, let's work on the final interior structure in the build. This is gonna be the inner chamber slash like the temple room that has all the Roman artifacts that we're gonna put on the inside. We could have just built an open space with a bunch of pillars that was kind of ruinous, but I wanted to add a little something something in the middle. So we're gonna build a simple structure with a door, a roof and some lighting inside and throw a couple building assets in here. Roman theme that is. To start off with the decoration, we're gonna add some of these dancer plits. I've used these in previous videos, but we're gonna put them here again. I'll also throw some more roofing on this to make it feel more enclosed. I don't want the uh, top of this room to just be wide open. It does have some artifacts in it, so I want it to be at least a little bit secretive and, you know, enclosed. I'm now gonna put some normal sized red pillars. I'll put more of them near the front door, just for decoration, really. And for the artifacts, I'm gonna make them all gold. You know, raw gold was the 
only other real resource I had plentiful of, and plus, you know, who doesn't like a nice golden artifact? That's, you know, really the treasured prize here. We'll start with putting some headless statues in the front, then we'll put some of these Roman gravestones towards the back, and then at the very end, we're gonna put a Roman capital, which is gonna supposed to be a table, or like an altar, and we'll just put, you know, a, a Roman artifact on top of it. Then in the back, we're gonna put more Roman red pillars to mirror the ones in the front. As for lighting here, I decided to use bear hide to light my torches. I don't know, I like the color of the bear hide, you know, fire glow. And lastly, I'll put some more Roman decorations on the wall, golden of course. I want the room to feel as full as possible. And just like that, we have our build. Didn't take us very long to construct this Roman temple. Most of the time taken was with farming. With using bigger build pieces and, you know, expanded assets, farming is gonna be, you know, your time eater. You know, that's that's gonna eat up the most time. But it is worth it if you're looking to make a massive build with as little build pieces as possible. And if you already have the resources, you might as well expand your build pieces and, you know, you can make a massive tower using three walls instead of 10 or 12. Thank you all so much for watching another video, though. We hope you enjoyed today's content. Again, reminder to go down to the description to get a link to our website if you want to try out our free trial or purchase stream world if you like what you saw in the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And as always, we'll see you next time on Friday. Have a good day, dreamers. Bye-bye.